Hey guys, welcome back. So I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I'm gonna have to try to keep this one short as I'm still going through a major transition at the moment, which is just taking up a lot of my um, time and energy. But I will try to get the messages that are meant to come through today. So this reading is going to be for Divine Soulmate Connections. And we're gonna be looking at the masculine's energy as well as the feminine's energy. <clears throat> and it is going to be general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. I think you guys already know that. If you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And yeah, so that's it. Let's get into it. So let's see what is going on with the masculines. And we have woman holding a heart. Okay, let me get a couple more from this deck. big dreams, fresh start, and inner child. All right, so this is the masculine really feeling um, their feminine at the moment. <clears throat> I feel like I've been saying this for like the past, I don't even know how many readings, but the masculine is really feeling um, the feminine closer to them than they have been, all right, from I don't know how long ago. But I feel like this energy just keeps increasing and increasing um, more and more. So some of you, if you are in contact, you might be picking up on that. I feel like there's this tenden tendency for the masculine to be getting warmer. Um, there may have been a time period where there was either some distance or some coldness, uh, maybe a little bit of brushing off. I'm getting also that for a lot of them, there's a little bit of back and forth between these two types of energies. Um, <clears throat> however, the, the point here is is that they're, as they go back and forth between like hot and cold, it's like this progression towards warming up. And this is because they are feeling you more so than ever before. This is leading them to um, have a lot of dreams. And this could even be like literal, all right, dreams as they sleep about you. And then for others, it's just fantasizing or just having dreams thinking about the future when it comes to having a new start with you all right we also have inner child here <clears throat> and of course my throat's going to start acting up as soon as i start the reading um so with this inner child something is coming up to the surface and it's an inner child wound um that obviously has been inhibiting them in some way when it comes to going after their dreams, going after what it is that they want, inhibiting them from having this fresh start because it's causing issues either with their sense of self-worth or um, it's creating fears, right? So this inner child wound is coming up to the surface. Let's see. So what is going on with the masculines just in general? All right, we have the Four of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Ace of Wands in reverse. All right, so in their overall life at the moment, they're not very happy. Um, they're not having a good time. <clears throat> There's a huge sense of disappointment or a sense of settling in the life that they now have for themselves because they feel like, like they are avoiding something here. And I feel like what it is that they are avoiding is this Ace of Wands, right? Which is why it is in, in reverse. So we are going to clarify. Um actually clarify these right now. So let's see, let's clarify this four of cups. All right, we have the two of pentacles in reverse, strength, the sun, and the ace of cups in reverse. Okay, so the reason why they're feeling so unhappy and um, dissatisfied in their lives is because, again, I feel like there's a lot of back and forth here. A lot of um, either indecision or just hot and cold, as I said before. And that hot and coldness that you might be feeling from them 
even if you're not in contact, okay, it could be just through through social media or just energetically or whatever the case is for you. It does reflect how they feel. It reflects their own back and forth, trying to manage. Now, this back and forth, again, I feel like um, a similar message came through in the previous reading. Um, the one that was specific for karmic situations. It, it doesn't matter. Even if there is no karmic situation, this is just an overall energy that they are all um, going through. This um, back and forth is getting to the point where it's beginning to be very, very um, draining for them. It's very difficult to manage this back and forth. It's like, yes, you know, one minute they feel cold and they're trying to keep their distance. That's because they are avoiding. <clears throat> they're avoiding this um, reconnection or avoiding feeling that passion, that drive. But then they feel the warmth, right, which is the woman holding a heart. Because they can only, you can only lie to yourself for so long. And this is getting very, very um, difficult to manage. All right, and that's why we have strength here. Because something that they are, that they are realizing here is that strength is actually needed in order to fight off the, um, the back. So when you have the back and forth, right, there's the back and there's the forth. So what they want to do and what everything is pushing them toward, right, that big dreams, is to go forth. But then you have certain things that are trying to keep them back. So it takes a lot of strength to bypass the fears that are trying to keep them back. This is something that they are beginning to understand, which is why we have the sun and also <clears throat> what they're trying to what they're beginning to understand here is that well it's going to take strength in order to have my happiness I cannot give in to fear I cannot give in to fear because when I do I don't have love so ace of cups in reverse the reason why they're not happy they're feeling dissatisfied even bored because they don't have love in their life because they don't have this passion, this inspiration that they can only get from their Divine Feminine. So I hope that made sense, because I feel like what it, it was kind of um, complicated or there was a lot in there. Let's see the Seven of Swords. swords, there's that fear and the chariot in reverse. So avoiding, this is them when they're avoiding the, that ace of wand, right? Avoiding that passion, avoiding their drive, avoiding what they're being, when they're being pushed forth as opposed to going back to fear. Um, when they get into that space, all right? So when you feel that coldness or that, um, and it could even be, if it's not coldness, it could be like feeling like you're being brushed off, feeling like you're being ignored, feeling like, like the masculine is just kind of like sneakily keeping their distance or just kind of slipping away from the connection. That's when they get in, in their headspace, right? That's the fear. That is, that's when they go back. And I feel like that's like the main message here is that that back and forth, um, is due to the fear, but it's be, it's like, I feel like it's going to be balancing out. That's why it's showing up here, because it is, it is coming up to the surface. All of this is based on an inner child wound. And it's that fear that keeps them from moving forth, the chariot in reverse. And like I said, I mean, we do, we do have strength and the sun both upright here, which I'm very happy to see because that's showing that, yeah, you know, they're finding that inner strength to move towards their happiness, knowing that, well, the happiness can only be forth because when I'm, when I go back and when I'm in this energy of that seven of swords, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. And I keep thinking about the fourth. I keep feeling my feminine. So let's see the Ace of Wands. Um, 
And we have the King of Cups. So the emotions are there. The love is there. They're feeling it. Just like I said, woman holding a heart and now we have the King of Cups showing up. That love is there. It's just that they that they've been avoiding um, the drive. But like I said, it's like no matter how much they try to suppress that drive that they have to move forth, those feelings keep creeping back up. The emotions, the love that they feel deep down inside, even if for some of them they don't understand it. I feel like for the most part, um, the masculines are understanding it, but but for some of them, yeah, even if they don't understand it, it keeps coming up. So let's um, let's get some cards for the feminines. And I will um, try to get a video out in the next few weeks um, for concerning the forgiveness and. Um, the gratitude that I was talking about, I think it was about two weeks ago that I had mentioned that. I will definitely try to do a video on that for those of you who requested it. So let's see, feminines. All right, and we have appreciation. which is actually pretty positive. All right, and we also have, ooh, okay, barrier, fear, and understanding. All right, so I feel like, yeah, you know, there is, there's a deeper understanding here, right? Having both appreciation and understanding. There's something that you are understanding and I feel like this has to do with your own self. Um, and it could be that there's a little bit of fear that is beginning to creep up on you, which is obviously serving as a barrier. Um, and that, and actually it would be serving as a barrier when it comes to being able to see the bigger picture here, being able to appreciate the situation for what it is right now, which means being able to understand why certain things are happening the way they are. Why is this fear coming back up? Why is the masculine acting in this particular way or in another particular way? So let's get some more cards and see what is going on with you here because I do feel like there is probably a message that wants to come through for you that may be important so let's see for the feminines I don't know why I have them so far up and move them down Usually it's because I get more cards, but today I have to keep this short. All right, let's come in on this. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Lovers in Reverse, and I did want to get one more. The Two of Pentacles in Reverse for you as well. We also have that for the Masculines. All right, okay. So there is a little bit of mirroring here in the sense that I feel like you might be having a little bit of back and forth as well, especially when it comes to whether you believe that this connection can come to be and you're trying to protect yourself in some way, but I feel like that's proving to be a little bit um, difficult for you because you try to protect yourself and yeah, then the fear creeps up. The fear, the fear creeps up just a little bit. Okay, that might not be the case for all of you. Okay, like I said, this reading is general. So this message is going to just be for those of you that need to hear it. Um, and sometimes, you know, things do happen a little bit subconsciously and then they're kind of like manifested in different ways. So I feel like the message here is to really be mindful of your thoughts 
of your feelings and how much of it is like a self-defense mechanism where are you trying to protect and guard your feelings which is i mean okay to a certain extent just be aware of it all right it makes um all the difference for you to be aware of what is going on within you because that is you know self-awareness it's also part of shadow work and it can be very very healing for you so let's clarify this. Four of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Wands. And the Four of Cups as well for you, all right? Just like we had that for the Masculines. So yeah, so here's what happens when, you, when you're guarding yourself. You're not allowing the pain to come through. And so that can leave you feeling very, very drained. Um, and also feeling very like dissatisfied or just like this um, nagging sense of I don't want to say depression exactly but it's just something that's nagging like something just doesn't feel right and I feel like that's really because you have put like this lock on your feelings trying to guard yourself it's like the fear shows up it creeps up and then you try to block out that fear but really you have to face that fear you have to look at it that's okay see that's why we have barrier and fear together not only is fear serving as a barrier you're putting a barrier onto the fear you're trying to block out the fear which is different than processing the fear looking at it face to face Look, look at it like right in the eye. I allow yourself to feel that so that then you can release it. So that you, then you can have a deeper appreciation where that fear is actually coming from. Let's see the lovers, which is in reverse. We have the hang man. Let's see what else. And the magician. All right, so yeah, you're feeling like this. Um, I feel like this is also um, very close to the previous reading as well. I feel like this is uh, actually very similar messages. Um, feeling like it's just not going anywhere. And I'm just going to say this again because I know not everybody watches like every single video that I put out, but um, if things are happening to make you feel like this connection is done or that it's just impossible, all right, there is a reason for that there, because that is what is going to force you to face your fear. Um, let me just, I'll get back to this. Let me just clarify the two of pentacles real quick. All right, we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Lovers. So this is where you're going back and forth as well. Like, you know, is this something that is lost? Is it something that is done? Or is that possibility still there? Like, should I have hope? Like, what does that even mean? Or should I just process this as a, as a loss and get over it? I feel like there's a lot of that happening right now um, for the feminines and Again, you know, there's a, just a little bit of fear that, you know, what if I can't get over this? Like, what if, what if it keeps coming back into my mind? Um, so, yeah, I feel like, again, a lot of mirroring here. A lot of mirroring. And another message that I've been getting um, recently, and I do feel like it's it's related to this and it's it's coming through again, is that, if you're still feeling like very deep pain, obviously there's more to heal. Now, you might always feel a little bit of pain, you know, you might always feel some nostalgia or, you know, just certain negative emotions. That's just the normal part of human life, right? And the normal part of the journey. But if you feel like your wound is like opening or that, you know, you thought it was closed and it's opening, that's okay, you know, it's it's trying to show you something about yourself. Um, union 
will be possible when you're no longer in that deep type of a pain and when this fear stops presenting itself to you in this way and that can only go away when you actually face it. All right, I mean, otherwise, it means that you're still learning something about yourself, all right? And, and that's why there, there are triggers and things come up. The wound is still healing. That's what it means, that the process isn't complete. And so union would be premature. But notice how the pain is fading, like as you get stronger. And that's because you are healing, all right? You're almost there. And I feel like, you know, when this happens and you're able to appreciate the fear, you're almost there. So it's like there's this part of you here. That's why I wanted to come back to this. I feel like that needed to come through first um, with the magician and the, and the hanging man. It's like you could be manifesting this waiting or this delay if you're not facing your fear here and the fear of being alone, the fear of abandonment. Like what if this never happens? But again, I feel like you're, you're back and forth, and as you're doing this back and forth, like you are moving forward when it comes to, to your healing. So I feel like that is what is going on. Um, I will just get just a couple cards to see what is um, coming up. Although again, time is fluid. So I mean, even what I just said here, it could be something that is coming up for you. It could be something that has already happened or could be happening um, at the moment. But we'll just get a couple cards just to see what is coming up here for the masculines. All right, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, I do feel like getting more because this could be like so many things, but it's definitely a shift. There's definitely things that are shifting, things are turning, the wheel is turning. What I'm getting with this really is that this it, it's to do with this back and forth, that it actually is pushing things in a new direction. All right, the wheel is turning, the wheel is moving, there is progress, there is movement. All right, even if there is that um, instability when it comes to their energy at the moment that they're giving out. So let's see for the feminines. Just any message for you. And look at that, we have the Nine of Pentacles, being self-reliant. And you know, this is another message I've been getting um, very strongly actually, which is you, if you're feeling, if you're in this kind of an energy that I was just describing before, um, know that you do not need your divine masculine to soothe you, to comfort you, or for you to feel safe within your own self. You are whole, you are independent, you totally got what it takes to be um, really, really grounded within your own self, feeling good about yourself high sense of self-worth, you totally got this. All right, and to me, this is also another message that yes, you are healing, all right? Just don't, don't be blocking out the fear. Appreciate the fear, embrace the fear, get to know the fear. That's what that is all about, the appreciation, the understanding and fear. All right, so let's get some final messages. And we have co-create. So I feel like this is all about this mirroring that I've been talking about, the divine feminine and the divine masculine co-creating together. So I feel like when you're in this kind of energy, it also um, kind of reflects back on the masculine and vice versa. All right, you are co-creating. You're both moving forward though. You're both, you're both turning your wheels. All right, don't let these obstacles um, scare you or you know make you feel doubt for your own self. These obstacles are here for a reason. Fear is showing up for a reason. Self-defense mechanisms show up for a reason. 
so that you can become more self-aware. You are co-creating with the masculine as well as with the divine. You do have that divine support here. Your, your connection has this divine support. Let's get one more. All right, and we have the new moon in Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. And again, this goes for the both of you. This goes for the both of you. So keep doing that hard work. Um, don't let fear stop you. And yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and much love.